Hey there, so today we have another review. Uh, this is gonna be an exciting series. Uh, this is a shout out to Matt, who uh, is a good friend. He just went up to Massachusetts. He went to Tewksbury Treehouse, and I have a bunch of Treehouse beers to review for you guys. So uh, he shared a couple tonight, and uh, I got a few, so more great beers coming. But we're starting off with Sap. Uh, this is their Simcoe filled IPA, um, 7%. Probably could start off with like something a little bit more crazy, but whatever. This sounds sound like a good place to start. Uh, I literally have not had a sap in quite a long time. Last time I remember having, actually, yeah, it probably wasn't this can, but I don't remember it being like a red, vibrant kind of can. It was just a can with a, you know, yellow oval label on it. So uh, Simcoe base, 7%. Um, obviously quite hazy. Look at that. Light gold color, fluffy white head. Nice. Very juicy. Um, this is on the fruity end of Simcoe. Simcoe, I think generally, is like associated with like West Coast, the Dank, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have some, I've had some gorgeous Simcoe beers, especially, uh, I remember Grimm, one of the first breweries that uh, sort of hit me on like a fruity kind of Simcoe note and quite fruity. It's like peach rings, um, light mango character, uh, very soft, very plush apricots, um, very stone fruit, sweet, peach ring, um, fuzzy, like, you know, almost those like, you know, sweet, crunchy donut peaches. Yeah, almost artificial in how like fuzzy and stone fruit and peachy it is. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's so different on the palate. Ah. Okay. It's weird. Fluffy, creamy, um, treehouse mouthfeel. A little bit drier. Definitely not as fluffy as some of it because he, he shared a few beers tonight. Uh, I think we had um, King Julius, Very Green, and Haze. This is definitely on the more, like, less creamier side. On the palate, follows, peachy. But then it's quite a little bit piney and dank as well. A little bit of chalkiness. A little bit of bitterness. But yeah, a little bit blander on the palate than it was like on the aroma. Still looks getting some of that stone fruit peachiness and all that stuff going on. Uh, where do they go here? Grapefruit, mango, pine, earthy spice. So yeah, I can certainly see a little bit of the earthy spice and pine. On the palate, probably a little bit more citrusy. Quite nice, yeah. This is definitely more of the kind of like, it's not as soft and like, like tropical and juicy as some of the other Treehouse beers, but certainly way more on the uh, fruitier side than like what you'd expect like Simcoe to be. Like, you know, when I think Simcoe, I think of Portland, I think of San Diego, I think of dry, I think of dank, I think of marijuana. You're definitely not getting that here. This is definitely a fruitier kind of to-do uh, with a treehouse interpretation of Simcoe. Mm. Quite nice. Full lush mouthfeel. It's just good stuff. I mean, it's just good stuff. Um, nothing blow your socks off, but just a strong, really good hazy IPA. 95. That is sat from Treehouse. Fantastic. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much, Matt. Cheers. Later.